C.J. Evans in the backfield. He's the true freshman. And right away, Oatsfall is going to keep it. Pitch it to Evans. Evans, a nice block outside. And Evans has room. C.J. Evans makes a guy miss. And you wanted college football. First play. Touchdown, Governors. 75 yards. And Mike Gullick, Jr., how about that to kick off the 2020 season? I was excited to have Sneed a part of their offensive team this year. Now second and seven, Oates fall to throw, looks right, comes back. He's got the ability to run, and Oates fall. Knocked out of bounds, not before getting a great block to spring him outside. A first down for the Governors. Golick Jr. taking a look at some of their impact plays. Snap over the head. Deej recovers it. And a costly error for the Governors special teams is Central Arkansas is going to have a great opportunity, a great field possession to build their relationship as they begin this season. Now third and nine for Smith, and again, he is forced to scramble. It is picked off. Jack McDonald intercepts it to start the second quarter for Austin P. Governor's ball. I'm not going to lie, he's moving a little better than a box linebacker. Great job flushing, getting pressure, and breaking on the ball right there. He understood the quarterback was going to be looking for a bailout in that check down. Breaks on the ball and makes a hell of a play. Jalen Smith told us that it changes a locker room, and it's changed the locker room for good. His own ball goes up top, and it's caught by Jordan Pollard. <laughs> What a catch by Pollard, 37 yards and a first down for the Governors. Snap, keen, clean, kick up and good. As Austin P takes a 10-0 lead here in the second quarter. 28-yard field goal good. We're back after this. A little bit early, but you've seen him a bit erratic on some of these short throws. I really think they're still trying to find that rhythm. So that was a loss of three for Myers. Now second and three, and again, Smith forced out of the pocket. Completes the throw to Jack Short. And Jack Short takes out half of Austin P's equipment on the sideline. First and 10, gain of 27. Watch two and white. Gerard Barnes drawing all the attention coming across that formation. And Jack Short sneaks out to the right side, gets in the flat, and shoulders the heating unit for good measure. Lay the lumber, big fella. Why do we have a heating unit? I think it's more of like an AC unit, maybe. I was never okay. sure what that did. All right. Nonetheless, big play for Smith. Again, he goes up top, and what a grab by Tyler Hudson. I think he got the feet down. Wow, what an effort. Now, they're going to wave it incomplete, but let's have another look. It's Hudson. Oh. Smith looks left, throws left, and again, another quick hit and a completion for Central Arkansas. That, Jared Barnes, tackled by Troy Henderson. The field goal attempt for Hayden Ray to get the Bears on the board from 30 yards out. Kick up and good. So the first points of the night for Central Arkansas deep to receive. Early in this game, we saw a snap go over Deeds' head. And that one low, and again, the snap, the issue. Deeds tries to pick it up, and the second miscue on special teams for the punting unit for Austin P. Tackled by Dwight Blakey, and the Central Arkansas Bears now great field position to try to tie this thing up. Another miscue by that special team. And this is the unfortunate part for Miller there you see on the snap. After that first one went overhead, the mind games began, and you knew he was going to be erring on the side of caution. He wasn't going to put the normal umpy scene behind that snap a thousand times in practice. And so you get a situation here where, thankfully, your punter is able to hold on to the ball. But now great field position and going for the end zone, I'm sure, Central Arkansas trying to capitalize on this big swing. Peyton Ray on for his second field goal attempt. Kick up and good for Ray. 
And so Central Arkansas able to take advantage of the miscue to get 10 6. 26 yard field goal by Hayden Ray. 10 6, Austin P. Oats ball. Pressured. Able to get out of it and just pushes it forward. What an effort finds Benico Harley. And Harley off to the races just off the other side at the 50 yard line. That is the athleticism of Jeremiah Oatfall in a nutshell. And great timing on the blitz. You got a free run at the quarterback there, and somehow Oatsfall Houdini's his way out of the situation and then makes the freak show pitch to Benico Harley. A great run after the catch receiver in normal circumstances, and there he's off and running. What an individual effort by Jeremiah Oatsfall. Timeouts left. Play fake. Pressure again. Able to avoid the pressure. What a block. Safety precautions needed in the game. Thought it was a good looking hit. Bryant Sneed. Oatsball falls and fumbles it on the pitch as he looks to pitch it to Sneed. And Oatsball still down on the ground as he comes up a little limpy on his right ankle. You see coming across here, his feet get tripped up with number one, Jay Parker, who's coming underneath as that sort of underneath shovel option there. Loses his footing and then the bad pitch after that. Right here, another look at it. Their feet get tangled up. Been able to get off the field now. Braylon Smith and the Bears look to take advantage. Rolls to his left, throws across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nathan Page. Lauren, thank you. Good field possession for Braylon Smith. to give up the middle to Kier Crossley. A good bounce outside for Crossley. Is Crossley a big run on first down? Early momentum for Central Arkansas. Good kick return and then a good run there out of Crossley. Gain of 17. Second and five already in Central Arkansas territory. Again, Crossley right up the middle and Crossley into the end zone. Touchdown Central Arkansas. That's how you start the second half. Kier Crossley, 34 yards. I give them just as good of an opportunity. And again, we get tempo out of the Bears. Smith play fake off to the right side. And that is a big fella, Jack Short. We've seen him make a couple of plays. That's a player with a neck roll and long hair. Tight end plus long hair plus neck roll equals boomstick. This is an incredible effort at the end of a play, and that fires a sideline and an offense up. A team that got rolling on the ground last series gets that kind of juice from their tight end. Herbert Cornell in Columbia. He is smarter than both you and I. Oh, Aaron pitch to Crossley. Ball still on the turf, and Austin P has recovered. Kobe Perry takes advantage of the miscommunication as Central Arkansas just had a drive moving. C.J. Evans approaching 100 yards. Had a quick look to Jay Parker. Parker's able to reverse his field, trying to get a block from Oaks Ball. And Parker able to reverse the field and pick up a nice game of a play that looks doomed to start. Oaks Ball, good throw. Caught by Harley, first down Central. I beg your pardon, first down Austin P. Game starts with us. And this possession starts with Crossley off the left side. Kier Crossley, big gain on first. Tackled by Terrell Vassell. And we saw this in their touchdown drive. Chunks out of Crossley, 37 yards. Great job just sustaining on that backside. By the left guard, you saw the tight end. Smith left side, back shoulder, great execution by Lawan Winningham. Credit for the catch. Camp work either being due diligence with these uh, catches. Lawan Winningham both feet in bounds. On the kick, two for two in his field goal attempts tonight. 32 yarder, kick is up and true to extend Central Arkansas. Lead to 16 to 10. So Austin P is still a touchdown out. Can they make something happen? We'll find out next. You're on ESPN. They can interpret it for themselves in a way that's paid off huge for them. See if Oats Ball has some fourth quarter magic on it. Goes deep on first down. Has a receiver caught. Jay Parker. Big play. Move the 
change. Here come the governors. Asking you shall receive stepping up and getting the ball and Jim Parker. There are plenty of bodies in the vicinity. 5-5. Eat in the backfield. Fourth and four for the governors. Oaks ball to pass. Up top. Incomplete. Flag on the play. Pollard had it fall into his chest. Defended by Stephen Mackey. And that is going to give Austin P a first and goal. Twice. Oats ball the keeper. Oats ball dives across the end zone and ties the game for Austin P. We figured that keeper was waiting somewhere in there. It's been a while since we'd seen him get a design carry. Snap paramount. Kick is up. Snap is good. Kick is good. And now the Governors have taken a 17-16 lead. Smith escapes the pocket. Quick give to Kier. Crossley who's had a big night. Crossley able to shake a couple of defenders and get out of bounds. That'll move the change for Central Arkansas. Down for Central Arkansas. And again, it's Smith. Again, he's pressured. And a great catch out of Hudson. Smith keeping the play alive with his feet, able to find Hudson. Again, moving the chains for Central Arkansas. The Smith has found his rhythm on his drive and again finds his receiver, Winningham. Down to a minute left in the opening game of the 2020 season. Now under a minute, gain of six. Pressure comes, Smith looks left, throws left, up top, what a catch by Tyler Hudson. Thread the needle. Nathan Page is gonna hear this whiz over his right shoulder directly into the waiting arms of Tyler Hudson. Unbelievable concentration with all of that fatigue we mentioned. Smith going to go to the end zone. Smith has Winningham. Touchdown, Bears. We've waited for the star receiver to make a play. And he made the biggest one of the night. Ten-yard touchdown from his quarterback, Braylon Smith. So they will attempt the two-point conversion. Braylon Smith rolls out, and it's good. Sam Camargo, the two-point conversion, and now Austin P has to score a touchdown. Do we dare say overtime to start the 2020 college football season? 365 days a year, live to play another down. Oats fall over the middle, and it's caught immediately by Eugene Minter. Big play, first down will stop the clock. Now you gotta get up to the line and get it off or you've got your two timeouts still. And they'll clock the ball as the clock will start once the down resets. This is the game for Austin P. Designed run for Jeremiah Oates ball. What a play call by Tim Zett. Now that gives you an opportunity Two seconds left. Chuck went in the end zone. You have a look now. Oats ball. He's going to throw it. Going to come up short. It's going to be intercepted by Central Arkansas. And that will do it. The Central Arkansas Bears have beaten Austin P. 24-17. And a remarkable kickoff to a remarkable sport.